Welcome back to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. In this week's episode of Art History Minute, I'm examining two works of art that weren't necessarily meant to end up in a museum. These pieces, sculpted by Baroque master Gian Lorenzo Bernini, were meant as a study for a much larger project. So to learn more, keep on watching. Gian Lorenzo Bernini is arguably one of the most famous sculptors in the history of Western art. In 1667, Pope Clement IX commissioned him to supervise the renovation of the Ponte Sant'Angelo. This bridge connects the city of Rome with the Vatican. For the design, Bernini imagined 10 angelic sculptures, each one carrying one of the Passion instruments. This would allow pilgrims to envision Christ's sacrifice as they walked towards St. Peter's Basilica. Only two of the 10 angels were made by Bernini's hand, although the ones on the bridge today are copies because the Pope thought that they were simply too beautiful and well-made to be exposed to the elements. These terracotta statues are, quote, sketches made by Bernini so he could test the composition before committing to marble. They represent the angel with the subscription and the angels with the crown of thorn. The two angels were meant to stand next to each other, complementing them. Although outlines are rough, we can still see the expressive movements that Bernini is famous for. Even more fascinating, we can see the artist's tool marks and even his fingerprints. Today, these angels are in the collection of the Kimball Art Museum in Texas. One of the best parts about studying art history is learning about and understanding the artistic process. Seeing how things come together, especially for an artist as important as Bernini, it gives us insight into how his mind works.